Hey guys, it's Justin here from theberryfix.com. Today we're going to be taking a first look at BlackBerry Playbook OS 2.0. As you can see, I've got OS 2 loaded up here on my playbook and ready to go. The first thing you're going to notice is the redesigned home screen. At the bottom, you're always going to see this dock. These six icons that you can put up here are static and they're going to stay no matter where you are in the home screen. You can scroll around, change panes, and you'll still have your six favorites in the dock. The next thing we're going to look at is the pane function. With uh, the previous OS, you had, I believe it was four different panes and five when you pulled up Bridge. But with this one, you can have as many panes as you want, and you can just swipe left and right and move things between the panes. Another new feature in OS 2.0 is the addition of folders. With folders, you can see I've got music and video, games, docs, got a few more. But for folders, you just open it up and all your apps that you have in the folder are going to show up and to get an icon into a folder you just hold it down and drag it in and let it go the next thing we're going to take a look at is one of the new settings that's going to go along with the messages apps and that's accounts if you go to accounts you put down your emails and by adding a new account you have the option to add email contact calendars accounts Facebook Twitter and LinkedIn I haven't had all those set up yet but I will be. And when you get those set up, those are going to show up in the newly designed Messages app. <laughs> we go ahead and open that up and take a look. And here's the Messages app. Your new incoming messages are going to show over here. And I sent myself a test message. This says, hey, welcome to theberryfix.com. And it has the default signature, which I haven't changed yet, sent from my BlackBerry playbook. And when you get an attachment with an email, it's going to show you, and then you have the opportunity to hit the plus, make the download, and it'll show you exactly what's attached. Over here on the left side, this second button here will show you all your accounts. This is where all your email accounts, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn will show up. And this inbox right here will populate with all those different things that you have set up. This is going to be your social feeds inbox as well as your messages inbox. To create a new message, you just tap down here in the bottom corner, you tell who it's to, you have your options, you have attachments over here, a lot of font choices and formatting, and you just type down here at the bottom and hit in the top right to send it. I'm not going to create a message right now, we'll close out of that. The next thing we'll take a look at is the contacts application. Just tap on it, it opens up, shows you your address book. I have not added any contact except for myself in here so when you add contacts you got the quick scroll over here on the side and your contacts will show up here and then all your information all your contacts is going to show right here like I said I haven't added anyone yet but I've got myself in there just for demonstration purposes we'll get out of that and take a look at the calendar which is another new addition in OS 2.0 the calendar comes up with the default month calendar. It's going to show your schedule over here. You can switch between a day view, the, the daily agenda, and you can also show people that you might be meeting with on any certain day. If you switch over here, you can go to a week view, or you can pull up the day view. And then down here in the bottom corner is where you're going to add new appointments or new conference calls, whatever you may be adding. Also, you'll notice with OS 2.0, we have the new squares with the applications, and now you just tap on the bottom right corner to exit out of the application. Another big thing with OS 2.0 is if you go in the My Music and Videos folder, this is normally on the home screen, you'll see the BlackBerry Video Store. You tap on that, give it a second to open, and this is where you're going to be able to download videos directly to your BlackBerry playbook. This is the first time I've opened it, so it's asking me to accept. And here's the movie store. I mean, there's, there's tons of Hollywood movies, TV shows, things of that nature that you can rent or buy right on your BlackBerry playbook. Another thing Room has added in this release is the BlackBerry accessory store. If you tap on that icon, it's going to open up your browser. And first off, it's going to ask you where you're from. So I'm in North America, USA. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And it opens up to shopblackberry.com. 
Here you can buy accessories of any kind. You can buy cases, microphones, rapid chargers, whatever you want from BlackBerry for your playbook. And you never even have to put the tablet down. So those are a few highlights from Black BlackBerry Playbook OS 2.0, and this has been Justin. We're going to have some more videos, some BlackBerry school lessons, and lots of coverage of this OS throughout the week, so stay tuned.